Not everyone gets to choose. Some people are forced into an academic leave of absence. I had the opportunity that since I had passed the retakes, it was an optional, highly encouraged leave of absence, also called a personal leave of absence. Then I took a leave of absence. You can see the leave of absence videos. And I failed. Step one. Not once, but twice. This is where things got tricky. And I had to go in front of the committee of administrators and tell them why I deserved to have the opportunity to take a third time. Now, you can take steps up to four times. But my school, you had to beg for it. Did you have more than two chances? Beg. <laughs> so... I did my case. I said that I had applied for accommodations. I was struggling financially. I was struggling emotionally. Anyway, go forward. But yeah, other people don't have that choice. Some people, through failure of exams, failure of courses, they are pushed into leave of absence, which not everyone comes back to medical school. Some don't realize that emotionally, a lot of people cannot take that. And they felt that maybe that push to leave is push that they don't deserve to be in medicine. It really impacts their identity. And some don't come back. So I think that was the first time I learned about being possibly dismissed from medical school or facing a dismissal and had to advocate for why I should have another chance or a third chance or fourth chance, I got lucky, but others haven't. I've now spoken in person virtually with a lot of medical students, residents, and attendings who have dealt with similar things and have even been dismissed and fully kicked out of medical school and had to reapply to a different medical school. Some go overseas, go to the Caribbean, or choose a different path. And that's after hundreds of thousands of dollars already being spent. So here's where it gets more twisted. 